What's up guys, Willie's Comics back in another video. Um, this is my second attempt at this because I cut my finger trying to open up one of the packages today. But I have two packages, one from eBay, one from Mercari. One is for the personal collection, the other one I just thought was a good deal. Um, and then I also got this from the LCS a couple days ago. I'm really trying to look for the Riddler and Scarecrow one for the collection, but I know I got this one for cover, which is 20 bucks, and these are out of print. And this one and those two are expensive. This one goes to like 80, so I'm not sure if I want to keep it yet. I'm probably not going to, because I only really want the Riddler and Scarecrow one, but we'll see. I don't know yet. But I got a Hulk lot from eBay. I paid $2 a book. It was like 60 some bucks. And I got it because of one book, and there were some keys in there and some you know solid stuff, in my opinion. So... We'll go through that real quick. Up first, so just some of this, this is some of the, like the notable stuff, I guess. I got some sets, two sets. We got Incredible Hulk Destruction. This is a set of Hulk fighting the Abomination. So I thought that was pretty cool. I like getting sets because I think they sell pretty well. So pretty cool there. Then I got another set, which is called Night America another Hulk set and this is a six issue miniseries of the Hulk that's issue five and then issue six and then here are all the keys or I guess just like kind of cool stuff this is Hulk 2099 number one Newsstand edition, nothing crazy, but honestly, I didn't know this was a there was a Hulk 2099 book, so that's pretty cool. Uh, this is a good one, Immortal Hulk number two, second print, but this is the first appearance of Dr. Fry, I think. And then we have Totally Awesome Hulk 21, second print, another first appearance or cameo of a character. I think this is also a key, Incredible Hulk 717. I don't ever, I don't really know the small small keys i'm not really worried about learning them but uh hulk one i it's just a number one with she hulk on the cover so that's what it pulls it and then hulk totally awesome hulk number 20 this is the first weapon h i guess bobby andreas aka weapon h uh, i just thought this was a cool cover incredible hulk uh, 112 with Hercules, it's a homage cover of, of that uh, old Hulk book. This is a key for sure. I think the first print goes for like 20, 30 bucks, but this is the second printing. Totally awesome Hulk number 22. So that's a cool one. And then definitely the two books that I really noticed that I took uh, notice of when I was buying this um, is Immortal Hulk number one. This is the first printing. This book was like, it was going for like for a while, it was going for like 50. I think it's like a $30 book now. I haven't checked in a minute, but it is a popular one. And it's also a homage cover to an old Alex Ross homage cover. And then definitely the book of the lot. This is Totally Awesome Hulk number one. I think this is the first appearance, uh, but this is the one in 25 cover, which has a $100 sales, you know, sales are a little over $100. So I basically, this book pays for a lot. This is this is book alone's worth what I paid for everything. So everything else is just free, I guess, essentially. So I thought that was a pretty sweet deal. So that's why I got that. And then this one is for the personal collection. Um, I kind of started opening it up, but um, now I'm gonna open it up because I had to cut the video. Let's see. This is a book that I paid $180 for. Um, this guy had it at like 260, I think, and then he just sent an offer out because I kind of been eyeballing this book, and I think it's a good time to buy with the Matt Reeves Batman universe. Um, I'm pretty sure he's gonna be doing this, doing this villain uh, in one of the Batman movies or spinoff shows. Um, and I have been wanting this book for a minute or for a minute, I guess, but I have been wanting this book. It looks awesome. Let's put this down. 
I think this is a good time to buy this book. Honestly, I went to a con recently, and I, th I think I saw an 8-0 of this, and this guy was selling it for, like, half of what it was worth, and I didn't realize until after I looked it up after the show, and I kind of wish I had bought it. Um, this is Batman 189, the first Silver Age um, Scarecrow appearance. So I am stoked about this book. Kind of looks kind of dark in the camera, but it looks beautiful like in the light. I'm going to put a Mylar on this and all that, so I'm stoked about this. Uh, so that is a gangster book. So definitely, uh, this one's for the personal collection. There's a bunch. I'm kind of collecting all the Batman stuff. I want to get a Batman 171, which is the first uh, Riddler Silver Age, but that one's kind of expensive as well. <laughs> that one's a little bit more expensive than this one, I think. So, But uh, yeah, I'm stoked. Happy to add that to the collection. And I think 180 was a really good deal on that. Um, I think that was under what it could go for. Um, usually Mercari, you can kind of get better deals in my, from what I've seen. And then, again, I think that book's just going to go up. Because once he come, once Matt Reeves does Scarecrow, that book's going to get really hot. And hopefully he does a good job. So, yeah. And that's it for today. I have some other lots that I'm going to be getting. And, yeah. Thanks for watching. Until next time.